Hey guys, you're live with the Pontiff. The Pontiff. That's correct, guys. It's Archibald Chesterfield the third AC3. I'm here. You're live on the YouTubers channel. Guys, it's been an emotional roller coaster ride. I gotta tell you, man, if you've seen the Archie Luxury character. This guy has got some serious mental problems. He's massive highs and then massive nasty lows. And I got to tell you, I'd be prescribing Zopping. <clears throat> he is absolutely massive highs, massive lows, then fucking miserable. And I, I got to tell you, man, life, life, life is hard. Life is hard. Life is very fucking hard. It's vicious. It's mean. It's just so damn difficult. And uh, I got to tell you, man, the mental mental state, it's, it's, it's gone bad, okay? I got to tell you, it's gone bad. It's bad. It's not good. It's not good at all. It's not good. Blue shirt, Buddha, fuck me dead man thank you blue shirt you always put a smile on the dial two dollars blue shirt buller it's saturday night live with the pontiff thank you sir i am just as we speak now i'm just getting my live uh stream um links sent out to all the boys i'm getting them sent out uh they're going now they're going now man they're going now uh, Hisham actually wants to come on today and talk about the Bank of India, Bank of India and the disastrous interest, the, the, the way that they ban notes. They, it's just an absolute joke. Guys, I love you. I love you more than life itself. And more. only thing I love more than you is your fucking super chat. So get those super chats happening now. Guys, 50 US dollars today. I will rip this shirt apart. That's correct. I will rip this shirt. This is my anger at the bitches. Let me tell you what's happened. Okay, okay. We'll get on to watches soon. By the way, guys, quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing a 5296. Um, I had someone who asked me if they wanted if I wanted to sell it. I said, always open to good offers. What did you have in mind? I'm just doing a bit of tire kicking, man. Tire kicking. I didn't really want to sell. I love this watch. Full box, full set. Um, let's, let's see what they offer me, man, because I fucking am the pontiff. Now, guys, let's have a look. I'll tell you what happened. Okay, so I've been doing a bit of dating. been doing a bit of dating. I've been trying to see how it is there. Anyhow, I met this beautiful Indonesian businesswoman, self-sufficient. She, she, her, her, uh, sorry, ice hole. I ain't fooled the way it works now, ice hole. Sorry. It, uh, they put a patch. The good people at StreamYard have got a patch in there. Um, I got to tell you, man, what actually happened was I had this girl. She's independent, wealthy, Indonesian woman. She lives in Singapore. Hi, I'm Cindy. Hello, beautiful girl. Uh, going well. Thanks about you. Very good. I'm looking for her. Uh, this is always the line you use. I'm looking for a serious relationship. I want a smart girl. I'm clever. She responds, me too. Laugh out loud. Have you been married? And I go, always just bring it down a touch. Just inside voice, bring it down a touch. I said twice. Wow, why divorce twice? And this is what I said. This is what I said. I said they never heard me. They just want money. No business brains. Oh, they were Australians? Okay, so this is what she's saying. I said Australian and a Japanese. It was actually the Russian and the Japanese, but I just want to talk myself up. You're a business lady. Tell me about yourself. Then I sent her some pics, and she noticed I was staying in an expensive hotel. I said, yeah, I'm staying at the Regent. I'm a property developer. Buy land, build, then sell. And I said, well, I got it. I just said, oh, that's great, 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 great. Uh, anyhow, she sends me a picture. It's her with a fucking guy. Now, I, I, I got a fucking tell bitches a fucking thing or two. Okay. When you're on a dating app and you've met someone called a prospect, okay, let's put it into property developer talk. Prospect, 
you don't send them a photo of you with your toy boy. Okay. I said, I said, boyfriend? Nope, a friend. Oh, I said, he doesn't look very rich. <laughs> Two dollars, Chris in Jersey. Hashtag free Uwe. I man, what the fuck's happened to Uwe, man? <laughs> Anyhow, then she got shitty. She goes, you haven't answered my questions. You have two ways. Good. Chat and share, answer, other question. I said, okay, I want a girlfriend. Rather than keep questioning me without, she's got angry. I said, okay, you wouldn't underestimate. Uh, so, so, okay, so anyhow, we had a talk. Then I sent her a picture of me with this wealthy, actually good-looking woman, the one who gave me the panties. <sighs> panties. Okay, okay, okay. So anyhow, I said, uh, I told her I collect Patek Philippe. Uh, she goes, I see. I said, I love Patek. She said, I don't. Oh, she doesn't like Patek Philippe. Paul Kendrick, 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 two, two pounds. Thank you, Paul. Uh, okay, I said, okay, okay, okay. She said, I said, what do you collect? She goes, apartments, warehouses, houses. Very cool. Uh, then she told me about a relationship she had with a diplomat son in Germany, a Taiwanese. He was bad temper. I couldn't stand. Okay. Then uh, I said to her, I'm not after your money. I'm financially independent. I just want someone who, who not want to continuously take my money. Uh, okay, then what did she say then? Guess what she says to me? She says to me, your future WF wife would also need hubby money. What the fuck is hubby money? Hubby money. Never heard of this shit before. Hubby money. What the fuck is hubby money, man? Never heard of this shit. Uh, in Asia countries, hubby give money monthly to the wife. How much you want? Not even married yet. They also give. That's quite normal. I said, how much would you require if we married? My brothers, bros, my guy friends, my uncles, my dad, all give, giving to the wife. You living in Singapore, you should know. Okay, I lied about living in Singapore. Okay, just a little white lie. White lie, fuckers. Uh, I thought you were independently wealthy. Why do you need my money? Why do you need... I said, she goes, the richer the lady, the more money they ask from hubby. If they are qualified, unless ugly, fat, dark ladies. And I said to her, oh, so anyhow, what happened then is I said, I said, I ain't paying anything. You should be paying me. I have connections. You're just a pretty face. I ain't paying for you. I could get a prostitute at Orchard Towers. You are full of shit. You're a hustler. You're a grifter. And then I was ghosted. There you go. That's uh, dating 101. That's the way it goes. So what do I think? What do I say? These bitches are nasty. Very, very fucking nasty. Indo. It's an Indo-Singaporean. Indo-Singaporean. She told me she, in her profile said 36. She looks 26, which is cool. But real nasty fucking bitch. Real fucking nasty bitch. I mean, look, let's be honest there, guys. I'm going to be homeless the end of December 2020. I want a fucking wench with a house. I want a wench with an upmarket condominium and a Mercedes Benz. That's what I want, fuckers. Come on, guys. I got the kit. I got the kit. I got the... The Louis Vuitton luggage, the five paddocks. All I need now is a pussy with a condo and a Mercedes, preferably E class above, E200, E250, E300. That's what I want. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Pussy, I need a house, man. What am I going to What am I going to get a job and get a fucking a car? Fuck that. I got charm. I got skill. I got everything going from me. Paul Kendall, two Ken, Kendrick, two two pounds. Arch, do you like a gamble? Actually, I I don't do well gambling. Okay, 
I, I hate slot machines, poker machines. When I'm at the casino, I play roulette. Okay, basically in roulette, you've got different things, odds, evens, red, black. You've got different things you can go on. <clears throat> you can also do the first 12 numbers, second 12 and third 12. I normally put a coin on first and second, play the statistics, and uh, that's what I normally do when I'm playing roulette. But do I like to gamble? No. I don't have any money to gamble. I'm very, very stingy, 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 fuckers. Yeah, I don't really like to gamble. I don't like to gamble. I don't want to lose money, man. I don't want to lose money. Don't like that. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, it's not good. So, um, uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking at losing the pounds, man. I'm down. I'm down seven kilos. I'm down to, I was 137. What was the fuck was I? I was a fucking fat cunt. Really fucking fat cunt. Yes, I was. I was. What the fuck was I? I was a fat fatty. Fatty. I was a fatty. And uh, I'm down to, I'm down to about, a, here we go. I was 100. Okay. On the 28th of October, the fattest I ever was, was 138.7. Okay. Now I'm down to 130. Okay. So that was... End of October, now it's early December. So that is, I, I, it's fuck, it's fucking hard. It's very, very, very hard, okay? Believe you me, it's, 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 it's hard. So, yeah, I, I've, I've lost, I've lost, I, I, I'm, I want to lose 100 pounds. Yes, I want to be about 110 Aussie kilos, 110 kilos, uh, so, so that, that, that is the aim. That is the, I'm a fat cunt. I, the reason I want to lose the weight is because I concentrated so hard for the last 15 years. It's been make some money, get the paddock collection and the Louis, Louis Vuitton of my dreams. Now, slow down, slow down, slow down. And what we're going to do is it's simple. We are going to. We are going to slow down. We're going to. We are going to slow down and we're going to be sensible. Okay. That's what we are going to do. Slow down, be sensible. Okay. That's what we want to do. I'm telling you, we're going to slow down. Slow down. And we're going to be sensible. We're going to be sensible. We're not going to be stupid. Slow down. Slow down. And I got to tell you, man, I really i am ready to rip this shirt. 50 US dollars. I will rip this fucker apart. That is my anger at the moment. Uh, what else is going on? Um, I got to be honest with you. My mental, my mental state is fucked. Massive highs, massive downs, massive highs, massive downs. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But look, I'm trying my best. Speaking of bad, where the fuck are the super chats, man? Come on, man. I mean, man cannot live on this Google ad shit alone. Come on, man. I want you on the discount. Hey, discount. What's going on? Blue shirt Buddha, man. What's happened? What's happened, man? Paul, what smugger? Get get the loan paddock of your dream going back to de to the dealers when they are sold. Hey, Paulie, I love the sentiment. Hey, man, we always like a joke. We like a joke. 5296, hashtag fuck you. Hashtag fuck you. NATO. Ring Clive now, ask him where he is. I think I might do that, okay? Where the fuck is this this Wrangler? He's supposed to be on my channel. I mean, I got I got I got money to come in. It's just we're just in, in a fucking very, very quiet, bad kind of phase there. Let's ring the fucker. One eight hundred lawyer.
Clive! Showtime! Fuck, that doesn't seem to be there. He might be busy. He might be busy. Guys, this is how it is, man. It's fucked. It's fucked as fucked I. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. Let's put a... Uh, I'll let anyone on now. I'm just going to post the link. Click on the fucking link. Come on. Come on. We're desperate. Get your fucking ass on. I just posted the link. Click on the link and you're on with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, fuckers. Super chat now. We need some super chats. Oh, I put the link in the... Look at that. I put the link. Click on the link in, in, in the comments and you'll fucking be able to chat to me now. Come on. Hey, Dan Redkey. How are you, man? What's going on with Dan Redkey? Come on, man. The pontiff's here. Get your ass on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll see. If I'm getting really desperate, I'll get that. Oh, fuck. Loud mouth. Him. Yes, I was just, hey, hey, I was of you, man. How are you? Man, I got to tell you, the diet, I, I'm i a complete fucking fat cunt, okay? Um, I went on my LA vacation, Archie, and the rule on vacation is you can eat whatever you want, and I did. And the How scale many? I gained three pounds on vacation, but now it's cold here, and I'm not walking as much as I used to, and that's not helping me lose the weight again. I'm on okay. a road trip, Richie. I okay, tell you how much I weigh. People. I weigh. I tell you what I weigh. I weigh 300 kilos. I'm going to put that into. Sorry, sorry. Oh, so. I'm going to put that into. I owe 100. I, I weigh 130 kilos. 286. And I am down. Let me tell you. At the fattest point. Let me just tell you this. The fattest. Fitness, not fatness, fatness. I was 138.7, yeah. which is 305.7 pounds. Well, I'm still a little bit heavier than you, so you can be happy about that. So I, I'm now 130.6, which is 287 pounds. How much do you weigh? I'm about 335 right now, I hate to say. Ooh. I sent you an email Ooh. to do a sponsored episode later this month. Hey, we can. Sirocco Sales, man. How are you? I'm good, Pontu. How are you doing, mate? Hey, not too, not so good, actually. I gotta be I'll be completely frank with you. Um I gotta be honest with you, Sirocco. It's pretty fucked. Okay. I'll tell you what's happened, okay? Oh, I'm no. just a man. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family with a moosh. He's got a moosh. Kenny Fandango. I tell you honestly, man, my heart has been ripped apart. Hisham, 4,000 rupee. That's a little over $50. That's a lot more than you could withdraw from the Indian banks when they cancelled the banknotes, by the way. Rip that shirt. Going to Ben Paul. Catch you later. I got to be honest with you. I have been looking for love, okay? I want somebody who can love me and uh, provide some adult entertainment facilities, and I got to tell you, man, there are some nasty materialistic bitches out there. You know this? Hello, Sirocco. His thing went off. I think he might have thought I might have been propositioning him. Actually, with the size oh. of his boat, let me tell you this. Have you seen his boat? He's got a very nice motorboat. And uh, I tell you truth. I don't mind swinging both ways for the right man. Oh. oh. I could swing both ways for the right connection. Uh, I got to tell you, man, I've been really fucking angry at the whole world. I have been really angry. And uh, these fucking nasty fucking bitches, these fucking nasty, nasty fucking bitches they want, they want the shirt off my back. You know this? I tell you honestly. These fucking, these fucking nasty bitches, they want the fucking shirt off my back. That's what they want. They, they want the shirt off my fucking back. That's what they want. These fucking... Okay.
fucking oh. nasty, nasty women. I got to tell you, man, they are nasty. They want. I had one. I'm looking for independently wealthy, okay? Because I got to be honest with you, I got a housing problem come the end of 2020. I got a slight housing issue. So instead of getting a job, I decided it'd be a good idea if I. Hey, hello to Mrs. Mrs. Loudmouth. Uh, that's someone else. I'm visiting some other friends and family members. Oh, hey, if you got to go, man, that's okay. Don't don't worry. We can do a show a bit later on. Hey, that's no problem. I started to stop it and say hi. You, know, you were advertising for everybody. Hey, no, man, you c come back to me and we'll do a show, okay? You just let me know when you're ready. Yeah, love you. I, I, I love you, okay? You. Just, t just tell me when we'll do it, okay, man? I love Thank you. Thank you. Love you. I'll be watching. Hey, man. Hey, rich buddy. How are you, man? Hey, man, I got to tell you the truth. doing okay. This fucking nasty bitch is there. I got to be honest with you. I'm looking for a... Okay, I'll be honest with you. I'm looking for a wealthy woman. I got no home. I got... My 401k is drained, okay? It, it's like the lizard. It's just completely drained. And, man, I got to tell you, man, I want... Hey, who's Dr. John? What's going on, Pontiff? Long hey, who's... Is that Ron? No, nah, this is uh, just a longtime fan of the show. Hey, Saw man. the link and figured I'd jump in. Hey, tell me, where are you? You're in New York City? No, I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah. Just moved Ooh. down here a couple months ago. Praise tried, the Lord! Praise to, the Lord, fuckers! I tried to meet the Wrangler. I was uh, living in Tulsa, Oklahoma for the last eight months and uh, just couldn't, couldn't ever put the pieces together to meet up with him. I got to tell you, man, I've been doing some dating. These bitches will have the shirt off my back. That's what they want. They want the shirt off my fucking back. You know that? These bitches will, they will rob you blind, man. They will rob you blind. They want it all. They want it all. There's no fucking nothing. They're just nasty and vicious, man. I tell you now, they are fucking bitches. You know that? They will rip rip the pocket off there they'll rip the crotch out of your undies you know you're that? supposed to get your chicks for free <laughs> speaking of undies you know what a great gift that's the greatest gift a man could ever have don't you think that i thought it a was a button-down shirt i thought that's what fed got you was the shirts oh no he did this was another gift oh uh, okay how many days old are those? Those got to be pretty crusty by now. <laughs> What's that? The underpants? Or are we yeah. talking about my shirt? This shirt is from 2009. It still had a bit of life left. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to tell you, rich buddy, I got to tell you, man, I, I just want to tell you, these bitches, they will take the shirt off your back. You know this? They will fucking rob you blind. <laughs> They will rob you fucking blind, man. They will take the shirt off that's, your back. That's the they least will, of what they'll do to you. You know, they are fucking nasty. They you're, are you're, really... You're, you're lucky if you get away with just losing finances. Uh, man, it's just a fucking joke. This Western world shit, I didn't sign up for this shit, you know? I tell you now, man, I'm, I'm wearing the 5296. What do you think, rich buddy? Any paddock is a beauty. Keep I love all the Travis. I got to tell you, man, I really love the 5196. I know. I know. Me too. Sell the smaller diameter uh, Calatrava that you have, the date. I love that one. I no, I, I say you keep it. The smaller <laughs> one, though. I've got, a, I've got a 3445, and I love it. Ah, automatic. Yeah, the first one. First one, yes, yes. Yeah. Was, it was my it was my grandfather's. Oh, and, uh, holy shit! What did your grandfather he, do? They were fucking dear. Yeah, he got it. He got the the gold watch after he retired. You know, from oh, his he, he was work? a uh, he was a stockbroker. Oh, okay. Uh, and they like you know they got him a Calatrava. They you know put his name on the back, and it was I mean it's a beautiful piece. And you got right. it now. How did, how did you get it? When he passed away, he he set it aside for me. Holy, that's a fantastic! Never ever sell it, please. No, for uh, well, I mean, so it was it was incredible, really, because I mean, he, it was something he wore pretty much every day after he retired, and yes. uh, the only, the the plexi had been uh, cracked 
um, and I guess he put had put it away from that point. He didn't get it serviced or anything. So I, when I, I got it, I, I gave it, I put it into Patek, and uh, they did like a full service on it. Put it, put a new strap on it, and uh, yeah. and replaced repra- replaced the crystal. But other than that, I mean, it, it's been in perfect wor- working order for like forty years. So and how much pretty incredible. How, how much was that for the crystal? How much was the service? Uh, very, with that? It was a, a sen- I, It was it was between that and a black bay, and I serviced the paddock. Right. <laughs> Look, did you? But you took it to Terry. I mean Henry Stern, didn't you? Well, I brought it into the. Um, I I I, brought, I I took it in through Govberg in in oh. Philly, and they handled it for me. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. see. And you're happy you did that, but aren't you? Oh, it's beautiful. I, I wear it, you know, probably once or twice a week. You know, not not heavy usage, um, but you know, I still I, I keep I keep it running, and it's it's amazing. Yeah, it's thirty, you know, thirty five, thirty four, thirty five mil. Yeah, like yeah, that. I think I mean, we need but, it. but it's it's a great. That's all you need. That's all you need yeah. with a piece like that. I I think. I've, yeah, no, no, no. I I, I I tend to agree with you there. It's. Uh, um that's that's amazing there uh here we go here we have got uh we just uh got some great super chats coming in there man sorry i gotta get these super chats hisham i got 50 dollars to rip the shirt apart these bitches they will take the shirt off sirocco sales man i don't mind living on a boat by the way nor do i arch it's good we, we could uh we could be boat buddies you know that uh yeah, andy man I've, I've still got a boat for sale mate do you want to buy it actually that's a pretty cool boat i must admit arch what's your all-time most successful vid uh look <laughs> look it's hard to tell the all-time is it's not a vid i like see this is the thing the vids i like i like the series we did on what happens after you die but they, they don't seem to rate well anything i make doesn't seem to fucking rate well but I look. I I kind of you know. I just put content out. I don't like to s- analyze my shit. I just like to put out content and see what the audience says. That's the I, ultimate. I, test. I like the series that you did on what your watch says about you. Years back. Yeah, that was a good series. Yeah, I might actually. I've tried to go. I'll go back there again. Actually, I I will will do that. Dan Radke, two dollars. Thoughts on the Rolex double one six zero double one six two zero zero tuxedo dial. So this is just a date just thirty six mil, smooth steel bezel. Nothing special, Dan. I'll tell you the truth, man. It's fucking boring. It's fucking boring. Tuxedo oh, dial. Yeah, this is interesting. But Dan. Nothing really exciting, man. It's just a date just. Another fucking date just in the sewer of life. Uh, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But, man, it's it's nothing special. It's just, nothing to, you know, I'd rather have a 3445 like my, my mate here. You know, that There's be more a- interesting tuxedo dials, too, I think. I, I mean, if I'd you're like looking tuxedo dial. But- Thunderbird would be great, wouldn't it? That'd be a great, you know. That's the with the with the rotating bezel. That's kind of more interesting. What do you think about this for tuxedo? If he if he went memomatic, the uh, the Omega alarm watch from the seventies. I mean, that's a really interesting tuxedo dial piece, for instance. Omega's got a bad situation at the moment. The stuff is fucking just just I don't know what it is. They're just soft, very soft. Omega seems to be in a bad lull too many hey man i love the yachty look at that blue yachty platinum bezel the red second hand fuck i gotta tell you man with the that watch how how long ago did you get that that's fucking mint sirocco i bought it uh, about a month ago from from um cove you got it from cove that's sydney watch exchange luxuria luxuria i actually can I tell you something? Go for it. That actually, actually, that was that watch there was actually one that I've touched. You touched it. Shit. Yeah. I better watch it. Yeah, I, I touched it. Uh, that that's actually a beautiful watch. I must admit that that is a fucking. I got to tell you, out of the Yacht Master Forties, 
I think the blue dial is streets ahead. That is the most beautiful dial. Yeah. You've got the platinum bezel, the platinum yep. bezel, which I, I got a feeling it, it it's like you, you're a boat person, right? So you got a sub. What do you, what do you got? You got a sub. You got, got a sub. You got a sub. Sub. Okay. And you've got the yachty. See, that's perfect for you because you're on a boat. Yep. The yachty is your slightly dressier watch. Yes. You know, whereas yep. the sub is your everyday. It's my beta. Secret. That's your sea grifter watch. You know, yeah. if you're dealing with pirates, dealing with pirates, uh, virgin wenches on the Channel Islands and mm -hmm. uh, deflowering, deflowering uh, women on, on exotic tropical islands. You've got all your bases covered. Yeah. And uh, i got to tell you, man, I think the Yacht Master at the Blue Dial I, I like the two-tone bluesy, but it's a little bit in your face. Whereas I the yachty. I saw one on the other day. What did you I think? Was in, I was in Brisbane, saw your mate Ronnie. Yes. And he's yeah. got a um a 1999 two-tone bluesy. Yes. 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 It's, a, it's a beautiful watch, and I it, managed to resist is. the temptation. The problem with it is it's a bit in your face. It's a bit, right. I'm successful. Who the fuck? It's kind of the thing. Someone who would wear that would also have a Mercedes coupe. It's too yeah. blingy to wear on the boat dock on a daily basis. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're yeah. Right, Rich. Here we go. Yankee Doodle, five bucks. Arch, please, please profile a man who wears a Lange versus a Pada. Yes. Well, I've always said this. The Lange type of person is a nasty fuck they tend to be very germanic very systematic approach to things and uh they they often i think the paddock is more sophisticated older money whereas the lange it's win at all costs it's win at all costs just a fucking cunt just a fucking miserable cunt and that's not something you should be proud of. I got to tell you, Sirocco, I think for you, man, and you've also got the Amiga, haven't you? Yep, and I got the, hang on. That's beautiful, the Aquaterra yeah, on the blue. I, I, can, I see you've got a theme with blue. I love blue myself. I love blue. When I was a kid, when I was four or five, I would only wear T-shirts in well, blue he loves the deep blue sea hey here we go the half two bucks from the half 1016 versus 5500 with explorer dial better deal okay let's just clarify this we're talking about explorer ones the 1016 i owned one that was my first rolex the 5500 what that was that was actually a oyster perpetual no date just a very simple watch Canadian market. In the Canadian market, they had Explorer on the dial. To be completely frank with you, so many fakes. So many fucking fakes, 5500s. Zero, zero. The 5500 zero, zero is a little bit smaller. No, no, no. Stay away. I know they're cheaper. Yeah, they're cheaper. But if you want to go cheap, man, 1016 to 1016, it's a legend, okay? The 5500, most of the dials on them are aftermarket. They're not original. <clears throat> I, I personally wouldn't buy a 5500. I'd, if you, you either go 1016 or you don't. It, it's up to you. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be a cunt, but come on, man. Most of those, they, they were a Canadian market explorer one. Most of... I, I, just don't go there. Get the 1016 or nothing, okay? Sorry. I got to tell you, Sirocco sales, man, that's fucking perfect for a C. <laughs> so how many watches you got now? You got three good watches. I got three which I've bought, and I've got my dad's 66 um, Oyster Perpetual. Ah, fuck, four watches. I don't think you need any more, Sirocco. Yeah, I'm trying to... Um, I'm, Re I'm realistically... Trying to you don't need nothing. That's it. No. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, seriously. Like, one I see. Yeah, but you know, I've I've limited my collection now: five paddocks and a reverso. 
right? Which is crazy because they none of them have got steel bracelets. But ah, who cares? I gotta be honest with you. How many do you fucking need, really? How it's many? Hard, it's hard not to get caught up in the rush. Yep. Everybody's so everybody's like a dog. They're chasing a new bone. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, but. I and think you know, and you know how dogs are. Everybody wants to be the bigger dog on the block. But you know, sometimes you get some happiness. I've, what I've had happened to me in life because I really run on the wire. I'm really on that knife edge of being financially destitute. Okay, I find that when I've nearly lost everything, I say to myself, "Fuck me, Dad! I got some beautiful watches. Why don't you just be happy with what you got?" That's where that's where I'm at right now, personally. Mm. Um, beautiful wife, beautiful kids, beautiful watch collection. Yes, and, and you a have beautiful you have, home, and a beautiful Porsche. Sure. So I just, you know, I gotta be content with the fact that uh, I don't have a beautiful job anymore. <laughs> you don't have a beautiful pain in the ass. Jobs <laughs> suck. Jobs That's look, true. Sirocco yeah. sales. It is true. Suck. Don't they, Sirocco? Who wants Tell to me work me. anyway? You don't need a job, Rich. <laughs> Fuck true that. Work. Nobody. Nobody. Let me tell you this, okay? I'm going to tell you something I never said before. You never, nobody on their deathbed says they should have spent more time in the office. The only reason why I went ahead in my corporate career, you know why? I'll tell you honestly, it wasn't hard work. It wasn't attention to detail it was the fact that i went around looking for dirt on my superiors and i started blackmailing them okay i actually joined up all these swingers sites to find bosses okay mm. that's what i did i i was the system administrator i could see what they were doing i would join up i'd get into conversations and say you better fucking watch your mouth i've got dirt on you here's your fucking crotch don't worry i've used that card a few times I've, I've fucking been a cunt. You know what? And I don't, I'm not proud of that. I feel really embarrassed about what I did. It's, it's not a good corporate world is not good. Okay. It's not healthy. And, and when you, when you get your boss, who's jerking off on a photo because he thinks you, you've catfished him. It's not funny. Is it? You know, it's not funny. Is it? So guys, I got to tell you, there's better things to do, man. Steve Camasso, two dollars. How much to order a beef and reef, man? I'm on a diet, man. Fifty oh. bucks. Fifty bucks. Ah, here we go. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle. A good job for your mental health. Get a job. Look, I tell you honestly, man, I can't get a job. Okay. I can't because I gotta entertain the audience. I gotta script videos. It spends to be honest with you, I like surfing the net all day. That's what I do. I surf the net. I like looking at videos. I found some good videos. I just look around the inter interweb and, you know, i got to be honest with you, man. There's a lot more to life than licking the boss's asshole, you know. There's a lot more to, to, to the job than licking the boss. You know, I just want to fucking, I mean, same as you, Sirocco. You just sail around the world, don't you? Well... Up and down the coast here, yeah. I mean, let's face it. He drops up, picks up a lady from one end of the coast and drops her off on the other. Yeah. <laughs> what more could you her. want? I wish that was true. <laughs> Why isn't it true, Sirocco? Why? You're a oh, charming no. guy. Who Why knows? isn't it? Sirocco, I tell you the truth, man. you gotta, you, you got to discover. I, I tell you what you got to do, okay? No bullshit. Sure. You need to get yourself a fucking AK-47. Right. Okay, because you, you're going to go over to the Philippines and you're going to start leading a good life. No. Nah. Okay? That's what you need to do, man, because this is bullshit. The bitches in Australia fucked me dead. I had one of these bitches. I had my dating site profile up there. These fucking nasty fucking bitches, they are fucking heartless vicious bitches let me let me give you the drum man let me fucking give you the drum so you know i, I don't date white women you know the only time i thought of a white the last 15 years but i didn't want to ejaculate i tell you now they're just fucking nasty fucking bitches and uh i, I you know i i was i was setting my traps you know my um i was setting my uh my love traps there 
Uh, and this is what this woman says to me. This is this was Anne from OK Cupid. Uh, she 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 she's a fucking overweight, fucking flabby, forty-seven year old bitch. And then she she so she she's just a real. I'm I'm chatting to her, right? I'm chatting to her. She says to me. <clears throat> Okay, so you seem very guarded and unwilling to open up. I'm not sure we are going to match well. I hope you enjoy your travels. And I said to her, thank you. This is why I date Asians only. I have not had feelings for a Caucasian lady in over 15 years. I think I will continue on that path. Uh, it is good. She goes. Then she responds back because she's a nasty little feminist bitch. It's good to know yourself and, and what works for you. Go well, my friend. That's what she says to me. Go well, my friend. And, uh, you know, I, I got to be honest with you. What a fucking nasty fucking piece of work. Then the bitch ghosted me. Ghosted me. You know this? Thomas Burdett, $10. Archie, pour yourself a drink, man. Let see you do that lizard tongue of yours. I wasn't going to drink today, but I tell you what, man. It, 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 <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it, man. <clears throat> fuck it. <clears throat> we lost your audio, Archie? Lost we his lost audio. Your, yeah, we lost your audio, Archie. How's that pause of yours going, mate? It's going okay. I actually took it for a Hello. Piece. Can you hear me? Yeah, we He's can hear you now. He's fucking nasty. Oh, you just went out again. Hello? Are now you're okay back. There? Yeah, now you're back. Hey, you know what? Speaking okay. of diet, I heard you guys talking about weight loss. I, I did a military diet, a three-day military diet, and I lost 10 pounds in three days. And it stuck, and and I'm not hungry, so it kind of got me into the mode of not, not eating as much already. What's a military diet? Um, something my wife found. What's a military diet? Something my wife found. We did Hello? it together. I'm here. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm here. Can we can hear us? you, but you can't hear us, Archie. So. Hello. Um, I don't know. I guess uh, I got a picture hey, of it. I on? think she went to the military diet dot com. Hey. Hello. I don't know. I've never been to the yeah, website. What's going on? Military diet dot com. Yeah. What's yeah. On? And it was a three day diet. And you just follow the three days and you Dude, eat exactly what, what it tells you to eat. And you didn't stop. OK, come over. Uh, I'm, I was a little bit hungry. OK, come over. I want you to get you on the live show for the first couple of days. Money. Okay. But I made it through it. Come over and you can come on. Look, I cheated a little bit. Yeah, I just bit. had my son, my second. Uh, Hello, can you hear me? I cheated Hello? a little bit. Yeah, we can hear you, Archie. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got you, mate. Hello, can you hear me? Um, Hello. I did a lot of uh, eggs and toast. Hello. Hey, what's up, Archie? We can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, Archie. Can you hear me? Yeah. Fuck. You can hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hello? 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 Hi. Um, but I can't believe it. So I cheated. I drank one soda and I drank uh, and I ate two small packages of Pringles hey potato chips. So and, I'm uh, and, I, and I still lost 10 pounds. Fucking hell. This is shit. I'm guessing you're not allowed to drink beer on it. No. Hello. Definitely yeah. not. Yeah. That's it's me a, out. It's a water and coffee. I can drink coffee though. I drink a lot of coffee. Hello. Hell of a lot of coffee. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, okay? We got you, Archie. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, he's gone. So so you've been enjoying the, the yacht master? Yeah, I love it. I haven't worn it for a couple of days because I've been doing stuff, but um no, I love it. Beautiful. Yeah, one. definitely take it off when you're doing uh yeah. when you're working. You don't wanna it's easy to bang a watch up oh, on a boat. It's hella that's easy. That, that platinum platinum bezel is just too soft to do anything. It, is it? I don't I don't understand why uh everybody says that. And platinum's supposed to be so hard, isn't it? Why is the bezel is it made differently to where it's softer or just that's just the way it is? No. Nope. Hey, 
Hey guys. Hey, we Hi can up. hear you. Hello. Yeah, we can hear I you. I can't hear you. You can hear me. Right, ah. exactly. What a bummer. What a bummer. What a fucking bummer. I'll come back. Okay. All right, mate. So, um, but, uh, and, and the polished center links. I mean, yeah. I, I think they need to be on there. It makes the watch, but you got to be I, careful I didn't with even it. Know when I got it, um, so I bought it online through Sydney, and it was only when it, when I got it, I realized that it had polished center links and just popped. It's beautiful. Right, exactly. Yeah. A lot of people don't like it. I think it's a toss up 50 50 amongst people. Yeah. You know, they don't like the fact that it can scratch up and get cloudy or what have you. But, you know, um, I haven't been too, I haven't had too much of a problem with it when I've worn them. It's For, a nice Those polished center out. links are yeah. gorgeous. Don't you ever say anything against polished center links. Exactly. <laughs> They're gorgeous. He might beautiful. be listening to us on another window Must and then be, call, yeah. talking back in. Yep. But yeah. So, uh, hey guys. what what does it feel like? It's soft. The platinum bezel. Does it feel like it's soft? What makes it soft? It just. I, it I don't know. It's just what you know. You, when it's like anything. Look, I, I'm not like you guys. I don't know much about watches. So when I got it, I you know you you watch reviews and stuff and yeah. And everyone seems to say it, so I've just sort of taken a bit sure. of Sure. You know what I, I, I did just think about is that it has raised numbers on the bezel, doesn't it? Yeah. They're Hang on a second, I'll be back. Okay. I think the raised numbers on here. the bezel would be easy. NATO Steve, I want to see Hulk Hogan's 24-inch guns. Thank you. And uh, Super Chat here from um, Yankee Doodle, five bucks. Arch, tell us about your Xbox who wore a Breitling and a pearl necklace. Yes, yes. that's I was, I've actually sort of covered that, but... Was yeah, that, that was, gentleman? He was a cunt and a half. But i got to tell you, Rich Buddy, I want to ask you something. i got to tell you, I actually really like that Yacht Meister with the blue dial. That could pop. Me too. That's my favorite Yacht Master. <clears throat> I've always said that. I, I, I think the blue just looks perfect. I'm surprised he says the platinum is soft because I thought the platinum was a real hard metal. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. But you know what it might be? It might be that everybody's scared to damage the the bezel elevated numbers. Aren't the numbers elevated? Yes, yes, they're kind of carved yeah. into it's it. It's the yes. only one, it's the only bezel that's like that. You know, but yeah, those are my two I, favorites. I, I, I'm careful on all my stuff. I don't really bet I don't try to bang anything, you know, like on an yeah. explorer two. You know, it's got the steel bezel. The numbers are black paint. That will come off if you're not careful. You can yeah. damage that as well, you know? Yeah, I love the blue dial one. Um, but if I was going to get one, I'd get the rhodium dial just to add that variety to my collection because I already have, you know, blue dial. So for me, I would get yeah, the rhodium. I'll just... Those would be the two, blue or rhodium. Maybe you're right with... <coughs> It's slightly raised, maybe that's what they're talking about. Yeah, it, might, it would be easy to, yeah, to to mess that up. I, I don't know if it's that easy to fuck it up. Seriously, I don't think it's probably that not. easy. You know what else too? How much uh, are those bezels? Probably expensive, aren't they? Of the course they are. Bezels? Rolex. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, or here or we go. Be carefree. Safi, six pounds. Them. Six British pounds. Archie, can you list the hardest to get, easiest to get sports watches from an AD? Well, the hardest to get would be the Daytonas, the steel Daytonas, the Panda, the, then the um, the black. Then 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 you'd have to say the Pepsi, the Batgirl, the Hulk. That, that's your key. Your key difficult to obtain pieces. Even a no-date sub can be hard. The easiest would be things like the Air King. It's the 40 mil Air King, the Explorer 1. Explorer 2 was a little bit soft the yacht meister um the yacht meister i gotta be honest with you that's always been in my opinion it's kind of like a yacht club watch you know it's kind of something you dress up a bit for uh i actually love the polish center the gmt master the batman has that too polish center links it has and I, I i think if you just look after it it's not terrible yeah if it didn't have the polished center links the batman especially would look off 
It would have yeah. been proper. Yeah. But um, I, I got to say, man, Dr. John, do you have any Rolexes? Oh, we can't hear him. I don't know what's happening. He's wondering there. talking. Yeah, okay, we'll have to remove him. He can't hear him. I got to tell you, in all honesty, man, I think a couple Rolexes, a beautiful Aquaterra, what more do you want? Not sure. I still like the bluesy, and, and yeah, I know we spoke about it before. I, I'm not going to do anything this year. I'll, I might it's, look it's, at it, that, that watch there. I've seen it. That's actually quite good buying. It's beautiful, beautiful watch. It's not that expensive. Uh, thirteen, just under yeah. thirteen. Is that yeah. expensive? Um, it's box papers. For a while, I think. It's about what they're going for. Yeah, no, we're talking Aussie. We're talking we're Aussie, Aussie, rich buddy. Oh. 30 fucking percent cheaper than that, Rich Buddy. So but it's a pre ceramic. So that's pre ceramic. Australia. No box, <laughs> I, no I, sorry, what's that? No box, no papers. Yeah. Look, I think it's still a nice watch to have in your collection. Yeah. It was beautiful. It fitted perfect. Uh, and I, I've got my, um, my current American girlfriend with me, and she, she went, What do you, what? <laughs> Are you going nuts? <laughs> what part of America is she from? She's from Ohio. And how did you meet her, Sirocco? She sailed in on a yacht. <laughs> her own yacht, or no? She, she was, was crew. Crew went on an American yacht, and I the see. owners have gone back to the states. And, and she stayed um, with you for a little she, bit. She seems to be staying on my boat at the moment. She's only just walked out when I had to turn the cam off. She just, she's just gone back to look after her charge. How beautiful one to ten would you rate this one? Oh God, should be good eight. Sirocco sales. It pays to be a. <laughs> but you're playing the millionaire playboy with the road <laughs> eye. <laughs> You've got the beautiful boat. Beautiful. Yeah. It's funny that Sirocco. Maybe it's your beauty. You just look like James Bond, man. <laughs> It's James Bond here. Hello. Hello. It's funny how owning half a million dollar vessel and a shitload of Rolex seems to, the sea wenches seem to, the barnacles seem to stick. Yep. She oh, now I, <laughs> now I understand. I mean, he doesn't have to pick them up from coast to coast. They come see, to him. Sirocco, if I would, yeah, man, to I, him. I, I, I would just go around saying, look, I invented Microsoft or I invented Facebook, some shit like that. Or I invented eBay. Yeah, I had a little business, used to do a bit of buy and sell. And you might have heard of it. It was called eBay. Yep. Just play the gazillion I, I, just, I just sold Google. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, you could fucking wheel these wenches in. You're having fun in life, but aren't you? Fucking love it, mate. I love it. Now, what's the rule, Sirocco? If you want to give a girlfriend a watch, would you be that stupid? I no, not at the moment. No. no. How no. many years would you have to be with her before you gave her a Rolex? Oh, mate, I was married 20 years. I don't want to fucking get involved in that shit again, you know. You were married 20 years. Yeah. I don't want to get in that How shit. How is she, by the way? Once My ex, everybody. um, I don't know. I haven't spoken to her for a little while. Last I heard, she was in Sri Lanka. Actually, I got a friend who just came back from Sri Lanka. Absolutely amazing. It's cheap as chips. Yep. The average wage over there is five US dollars a day. Yep. Wow. Sri Lanka is apparently amazing, absolutely amazing wildlife, amazing diving. Do they have an AD there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose they would. I mean, I mean, I mean, but uh, just be careful of those Tamil right. tigers. You got to be careful of the Tamil tigers, you know. But yeah. Sri Lanka, that's yeah. where home of many tea, Darjeeling, you know, all the tea. Remember Kamal? He wasn't he from Sri Lanka? Kamal, was he? He might have you been. You know Kamal? Yeah. The world is so unfair. Yeah. No <laughs> remember Kamal? You remember Kamal or not? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Haven't seen I haven't you, you're a Brisbane boy. You know Kamal. Well, I, I 
You used to see him on TV, yeah. Why are people so unkind? Yes, Because <laughs> you're always flogging your fucking Christmas album, come on. That's it. That's it. Every fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking year. Yeah, yeah, it's no, it's... Album. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it, man. No, no, it's... A, you're a bit like Julio Iglesias, aren't you, Sirocco Sales? I don't think so. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's a new one. You know, you just, uh, so let me get this right. There's heaps of attractive, very attractive men at this marina, but your your boat and your Rolexes stood out. The it's the hair. Look, his hair is always blowing in the wind. Look. <laughs> I'm sure he's got really nice personality too. Yeah, yeah she, she's a cool chick. We spent fuck, a lot of time together. That's why you haven't seen me here. And people, I noticed Rich the other day. Yes, they did. They said, where's he gone? NATO Steve, $3.49. Sirocco is Hulk Hogan. And uh, Yankee Doodle, will a brand new two-tone Daytona hold its value like the steel? <coughs> Look, the two-tone. I, I actually think the Maserati Blue Dial was the one to go for. See if you can get one of those because they were in limited numbers. I reckon they would. Look, I think you could buy one. You're not going to make money. You're not going to lose a lot. It's, 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 the steel is the king. The steel is going for this gold prices on the pre-owned market. Okay. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think buying, I, I would tend to say you could buy, go to David SW. You can get a cheaper second hand. Go to David SW, David SW, David SW. That's for American buyers. For well, Australian that, ones, I recommend Ronnie and, and, and Co. from Vintage Vintage Watch Co. and uh, Luxuria. Luxuria. But the, i got to tell you, man, I'm really impressed with the Yachtmeister. That's a fucking beautiful watch. Um, that the one two -tone, came from... Uh, the what two -tone country is from, Sirocco? Um, Korea. That's right. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. I, got that, I got that in Singapore. Okay. Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. Anyhow, I got to tell you, man, that's so fucking cool. That's a that's a beautiful watch. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've you need any. I've been looking for one. I, I was on a wait list supposedly at uh, Langford's. Ah, fuck and them. Overseas, and then I saw this, and it was the same money as a, you know, a brand new one, and I just went, oh fuck, get it. I reckon for you, if you get the bluesy, you're done and dusted then. I think if I get the bluesy, that'll be next year. Um, yeah. I think as much as I liked that one the other day at, at Ronnie's. You know what's wrong with it? You know what's wrong with it? I'm not criticizing vintage watch coast stock. It doesn't have gold in the clasp. In the clasp, it, it's a steel buckle. Because that was just knows. a... <clears throat> I'm just... A, yeah. I, I prefer them with the gold centerpiece in the bracelet they did that the next year because it's actually an it's an a serial number 1999 piece it's, a, right. it's a lovely watch yeah i would tend to get one with the gold in the class i think when i do get one i'm going to get one sort of similar age to my sub which is my subs in october 18 the yacht masters june 18 Okay, oh, well, if that's the case, you know, you'd you have to get a ceramic, ceramic one. You've got to get a ceramic one then, because yeah. those those that's are non-ceramic. Nice. Yes, I, I understand it, and, and I, I, to be honest with you, can I be honest with you, Sirocco? Yeah, go for it. Okay, so the one you looked at is a pre-ceramic, right? Yes. Yep. It's okay. It's a beautiful watch. I, I actually had the last of the the pre-ceramic. I had the V serial number two thousand and nine. Yep. I got to be completely honest with you. Oh, nice Amiga. i got to be honest with you. I would have to say go for the ceramic because the bracelet is so improved. It's got the solid, more solid bracelet. Yes. That's what I'd do. And it'll have the glide lock as well, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that I have. Yes. It's absolute. They did it with a Smurfy blue. Then they went back to the traditional. Either one is fine. But um, i got to tell you. I think that could be your dress watch. Yep. I've often said this. If I was Mr. Bullshit and I wanted to pretend I was absolutely minted, two things I would buy besides your yacht. Hey, where's my friend gone? He's gone. What happened? Rich buddy, are you there? 
Hello? What's that? Oh, I'm here. We lost, we lost our rock. friend. Oh. We lost our friend. He's gone. Hey. Hey, well, Rich he, Buddy. He's got, a, he's got a perfect collection for a yachty. For, he for does. A oh, a yacht, he does he? Sirocco, I was going to say, you know what? You, you could, you, you need to be absolute minted millionaire. You buy yourself a secondhand CLK Mercedes, you know, from about 10, 15 years ago. Mate, in I black. He doesn't need a car. I'm just I, saying I've to you. I, I like my SSV Redline Commodore. Yeah, people with well, they, people with big boats, they have uh, small, economical, affordable cars. They don't put money well, in I, I don't. I, I drive a massive V8, 62 <laughs> liter. You're trying to raise funds. Hey, guys, I'll show you my son. Come here. Come and say hello. Sit down here. You can sit down here and have a chat for a couple of minutes. You can go chat on the cam. We're fundraising today. Uh, yeah. yeah, I need money. I need up. Good. Here you go, sit down. Sit hey, down. how are you doing? Yeah, good, mate. This is my yourself? friend, Rich. Hi, right. buddy. How are you going? Hey, how are you going? See ya. <clears throat> I'm in California. California? Yeah. How's the weather up there? It's it's nice every day. It's Except we're in, going through a little oh, rough spell right. of rain right now at the moment, That's but it. it's usually sunny. Oh, okay. Right. Fair, fair we, enough. We needed the rain. Too. Yeah, that's right. So what are we doing today? Fundraising for Archie. <laughs> what else? Usual. Yeah. yeah, what else? Yeah, he's tight, isn't he? So Sirocco's uh, chilling out on his boat there. He's he's over there in – he's in Australia where you guys are, but I'm not sure how close you guys are. I'm apart. in Bundaberg, about four hours away. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. No worries, mate. Yeah. How's it down there today? Oh, it's a little bit humid. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday the weather was beautiful all weekend, but just come Sunday, humidity's through the roof. Yeah, I, I was down there on. Um... Yeah, I'll wrap it up now. I'll wrap this up. Yeah. Here. yeah. Hey guys, we'll wrap it up. Thomas Burdett, two, two, two pounds. AC four in the house. Mm -hmm. Guys, I gotta shoot off. I gotta spend some time with this son here. All okay. Right. And uh, I go. love you. Good. Come back next week. I'm doing a Mitch live show midweek midweek actually we got the oh, wrangler hang on we got the wrangler hello wrangler hey, how goes it? hey wrangler hey wrangler you hear me yes unfortunately i mean yes i got my son the other son here you can interview him okay um sure how you, you doing him? sorry here i'll put him on say hello to the wrangler say hello hello wrangler how are you you know Good. the wrangler well, the rancher actually, but hey, a quick okay. There, I have so many questions. Okay, no worries. All right, uh, how do you deal with the shame? <laughs> oh, mate, it's there's a there's a lot of um you know abuse that goes on substance wise, whether it be alcoholism or, but no, nah, it's not too bad. I personally try not to get too close to dad's hobbies. Um, Did you say hobbies or horns? A little bit of both. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. If he if he wants to shame himself, he can go hard. So, what hobbies you know, do you have? What 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 gets? How do you what do you, what do you do to uh, get yourself through the day? Oh, work. I like to work. I like money. I like money. What do you do? Work. Wait, 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 wait. You'll have to excuse me. I'm confused. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You have right. a job, right? Yes, correct. Okay, now I'm really confused. Yeah, a lot, a lot's changed. <laughs> wow. Okay, well that's good. Actually, what what do you do for what do you do for a job? What do you do for a living? Um, I work for Telstra. That's what is that? Uh, phone company, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's a tele telecommunications company, but it's the largest in Australia. Um. They gave me an opportunity and basically I'm doing a lot of customer, I'm a customer resolution consultant. I'm not working on the phones, I'm in store. There's a lot of opportunity with Telstra as a company. It's quite large. Um, I've been there for nearly two weeks now. It's good to be working again, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. 
thanks to dad's help as well he's helped me out a lot believe it or not um making me he, he actually took me into my interview which you know he does have a heart as much as he rags but um well he, he does it's also he, very enlarged Yes. Well, he wants me to wrap this up, and I he think he needs to get a new shirt. You don't have to wrap it up. Oh. Keep talking. Okay. Get the money. See if there's any super chats. Uh, mm -hmm. Super chats. He's asking me about super chats. Super chats. That's, that's how. Look, get the super chat. Let's fuck this. Give money. Give money. Give okay, money. Okay. Guys, if you have, if you have any, if you have any questions, big thing when it comes Give money. Give, give juice. People. Tell him people are going to ask give crackers. Unless he gets off the, unless he gets off the screen. Tell him, Sorry, people gonna, tell him people aren't going to want to give him super chats unless he gets off camera. People aren't going to want to give you super chats unless you get off camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, hey, uh, guys, here is, here, this is such an opportunity. You basically have unfettered access to AC4. And, and if you put the question in the form of a super chat, Jesus Christ, Mark, Mark Goldberg, where are you? Okay. So anyway, guys, here you go. Super chats, super chats for AC4. Behind the scenes uh, of the Archie Luxury Empire. Now's your chance. Okay. And uh, keep. Okay, booster. Two dollars. Who's? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Who's uh, Megan uh, Michael or Kate Middleton? Uh, Megan Michael. For a night, just a night, right? Just uh, he, night. Doesn't, he also doesn't say. Keep in mind, the more the the more money the super chat, the more in depth the answer is expected to be. So two dollars, you know. Yeah, it is what it is. For two bucks, I'll say Megan Michael. Good job, uh, so guys. If anyone has any questions for the young lad about his father, what I'm saying, this would be an excellent time. Okay, what's what is? Well, no, I actually I should I, I have so many questions I really want to ask you, but I probably won't need to wait for Super Bowl. I have a question. Do you even like or give a damn about watches? To be honest, be honest. I I, I appreciate I appreciate Dad's hobby. It makes him happy. Me personally. I might because my father's into watches one day purchase one watch, but I'm not going to turn into a collector. I don't have a, um, an addiction <laughs> to watch collecting. I admire the pieces he has. I think they're quite cool. And okay. to learn about it is cool. But okay. So that might happen to you when you get older. Cause well, I didn't give a damn about watches when I was your age either. So no, let me, I'll I'll yeah. super chat by two dollars by Burster. Did Archie use corporal punishment? Define corporal punishment. Spanking. Um. Yes, he did. Clip you around the ear a few times. Oh. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! Yeah. My mum used did he throw empty beer bottles at you across no, the room. No. Dad, dad's a little teddy bear. He's a he 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 wouldn't touch me. My mum did most of the corporal punishment. Okay. Well, I kind of figured maybe corporal punishment would be like close to work for him, so he'd avoid it. Now, yeah. okay, two dollars by Terry N. Congratulations on the job, AC Four. Thanks, Terry. Thank that you very much. Thank you. So, so guys, again, un, unrivaled opportunity. So, what what is okay? So, what do you think about Papa Pluta? Um. Look, he, he, he's changed a lot in the last couple of years. A few years ago, I wouldn't have a bar to do with him. I wouldn't ask him for help. Um, I'd tell him to go and eat shit, basically. But he has improved a lot. I think as well as like him having fans on his channel, he's happy. I don't know many grown men that are actually happy, um, which is a really good thing to see. He's more supportive of me and my brother. Okay, two dollars super chat by Doctor BBC. Regular coming on at the end of the live stream. My move. Yeah. Okay. I. I. Doctor BBW. Doctor BBW. It's. It's kind of really. We're kind of going meta here. So anyway. So what was. What was. Um, growing up. What was Papa Pluto like? Um. I don't really remember him. 
my childhood, I, I spent a lot of time in hospital growing up. Um, and of course, I got raised by my mum for mostly all of it. Now, I don't want to say, tell you a sad, a sad side of Archie, but Archie was out working. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait for someone to super chat first. Okay. Okay. So, guys, if you want to hear the dirt on AC3, keep the super chat coming, guys. <laughs> it's got to be okay. double. Uh, Thomas Burn double Thomas the amount Burn so it can be split equally. Exactly. Tom, oh, that's true. What, what's your – well, Thomas uh, Burnett. By the way, uh, AC4, do you have a PayPal address? Um, no, I do not. You should or set one up before you come on here next time. Yeah, because that way you can also, when Archie leaves, you can give out your PayPal address. And I can get funding. And ding, ding, ding. You okay, That's no, awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I um, should do this all the time. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Well, but next time, that's why you set up your PayPal address. Now, okay, AC. Okay, now we're going behind. Uh, AC four. Tom, two dollars super chat by Thomas Burnett. Yeah. What is your dad's real job? Um, I think being a dad is one of them. Um, the second is just YouTube. No, he said real job. He doesn't have a real job. He does nothing. Okay. Well, okay. It's like we suspected. Two dollars by Booser. Does this channel make you proud or embarrassed? Um, at times, I can be proud of the channel because his old videos are actually very, very informative. They, I, I reckon there was actually, he was the first person to do this. Now it's turned into some kind of channel, uh, comedy channel. Um, and he's doing all this entertainment, humorous shit. Hey, whatever gets the money, gets the money, but... It's starting to turn into a bit of a peasant show where dad's cutting his own t-shirts to make him look like rags. Um, okay, now here, this we got a related super chat for two dollars by Steve Cross coming on. Yeah, oh, yeah before. is your dad really as broke as he always says? Uh, every time I ask him, he's broke, but then again, he shows me about how much revenue he's raised this month. Okay, so wait, let's let's save that for another super chat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nate O, you little bitch. Sorry. Nate O, what's the that. reason Archie goes to Asian countries? Um I would say the hookies and the prostitutes. I knew it. <laughs> Fair enough. I call it. No. You knew it, mate. You knew it. Well, there we, there are other reasons. So guys, if you want follow up questions. No, there are other reasons. Yeah. There are no other reasons. Um, well, there are theory. There are conspiracy theories. Okay. Now, free free comment by pharmacists do it over the counter. So, good answer, kid. No worries. All right. AC four is spotted by his current wife. Pharmacists do it over the counter, man. That has been in the form of a super chat. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not going to answer that one, but that's going to be an interesting one if it does go super chat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. guys, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Okay. I just can't believe Dave Breen is not like having a field day right now. <laughs> YBRP is making a comment. Okay. Thomas Fournette, $2. Oh. How much revenue does your dad? Raised, each. raised in the last month. Okay, well, he, while he's not in the office, I'll have a quick little, a quick little geese, eh? <laughs> um, to find out how much revenue is raised, going to YouTube. Would that be correct? I don't want to assist you in this matter. I'll put it that way. I'll leave you okay, to your no own devices. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, how, how much? How much did he tell you that he raised last month? Last month, he said he was down. He said he was really down, and that he needs to do more super chats. And 
he's broke he's poor he can't he can't buy he, he can't help me because he's so much because he's so broke okay so nope. he, gets the same, he gets the same drill that we all do pretty yeah. much pretty much just so broke so broke Foozer. yes who's there two dollars are you going to have horns when you're his age um, I don't know. I think the horns came from his father's side, but as you can see, I'm, I've got no horns. I'm yeah. actually the, <clears throat> so I don't know, maybe they'll come out when I get a little bit older, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no horns. Okay. Now here, $2 by Hector Castro. Okay. AC4, make sure to check yourself for horns. Hashtag horn awareness. I think that is important, Hector. Um, and I'll definitely get onto it. If I notice any horn-like lumps, I will get the scan. You may need a, a you may need a pocket mirror. If you ever seen the movie Damien Omen, <laughs> where he kept his forehead, his back of his head for the sixes. Yes, I'll 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 ask Dad because if his revenue is up this month, I'm sure he can buy me one of those mirrors. Absolutely. Now, two dollars right. by Terry N. AC four. Is your dad going to get re re remarried to his ex? So, is his current wife or ex wife the Japanese one? Uh, I don't know. I'm just reading the questions as they come. Because okay. his his ex ex wife is my mother, but his ex wife is the Japanese one. I if he gets remarried, he's he's. He doesn't really know what he's doing. I don't think he would. That doesn't make sense logically. Um, and to follow that up, Terry Ann, with um, Steve Camasso, yeah, Dad messes around with a lot of other women. Well. And, yes, someone said, yeah, there we go, Harami. Um, I doubt he is. I don't think Harami would give him that. <laughs> nice. She's not. She's not a fan of the horn. Brutal, wow. eh? Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> no. Poor, poor bloke. Do you have any questions for the people out there? Um, what do you guys think of dads? An AC four? Yeah, Thomas, I, I would love a Thomas. scotch. Thomas, <laughs> I do like scotch. No, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of watches, but I do like a good drop. Okay. Um, question. So you do. You would. You do want a scotch? Okay. Cool. That would be awesome. Can you see his best scotch nearby? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco, dude. I can see. Hang on. I can see a Glenlivet 18. 18 years old. Somebody yeah. super chat twenty five bucks for him to take a shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll, I'll do okay. it. What is the legal drinking age in Australia? It is eighteen. Really? Yeah. Are you, you are over eighteen, right? Yes, and I'm over twenty one as well. I'm twenty two. All go. right. <clears throat> Someone super super chat twenty five bucks for that shot of Glenlivet. There's also, from what I can see. If you want to spend more money, there is a um, Ard's Beg. I don't know if that's better, but it's 10 years old. It's Islay Single Skull. Don't know what that wait, is. Uh, wait, put down the headphones for a second and go ask your dad which one's better. <laughs> oh, God, this is so wrong. No worries. Be right back. All right. <laughs> You're a shocker, Clive. <laughs> Which scotch is better? The 18. He says the 18. All right. Which scotch? So the 18 is the better. So the no. All right, guys. Channel your move. <laughs> so, any questions you have for people, either us. Either myself, Rich Buddy, or Toronto Sales, or do you have any questions for the punters out there? Um, yeah. So, so besides, what, besides, what do you guys really think of? Um, how did you go grow out? 
<laughs> um, basically, what do you guys think of my father? Uh, that's a really complex question. So, by the way, how did you cope growing up with carpet beetles? Um, I'm, I've got no idea. I'm pretty sure I grew up fine. Oh, that's right, because you grew up with your mother. Yes. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> I see all sorts of free comments on both of the excellent, uh, excellent super chats, even two dollars super chats, guys. Come on. We, we we all love your dad, man. That's why we're on here. We have a good yeah. time, and he and, he's good, and, daddy. And we all get entertain each other, and he entertains us. That's awesome. It, it's a good time. That's good. As long as he makes you guys happy, and he can give you some like. Some of his life advice. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? I can see it as a beneficial relationship. I start every week or two and have a chat with him and see how he's going now that we're a bit older. Um, and I enjoy his company. He's tells it like it is sometimes, and he can bullshit a lot too, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Deacon, uh, how much did how much did we say for it? Deacon, come on, two dollars. Deacon's paying you to drink, so I don't know. Maybe like a shot glass full. No, uh, no, two bucks ain't enough. Yeah. Hey, um, oh, so God. so you've had this job for how long now? Are you liking it? The few days, a couple of weeks. How long you been working there? Um, I've been there for nearly two weeks. I'm on boarding, so on boarding's always a drag with any company. Mm -hmm. um, what do you mean by boarding? Is that like probation? Right, huh? Oh, it's similar. It's like the training that goes along with the probation. So, um, onboarding is basically doing all the health, health and safe, uh, all the health and safety bullshit that comes along with any joining any company. Um, in like it, knowing the staff and knowing what sort of um, roles they play within the store. Um, and basically learning the new system as well. Um, it's meant to be integrated into Salesforce by next year, but I don't see any hope in that happening. Um, we use a program called Siebel. Uh, it's a bit back and forth. I've been learning how to navigate across it all week. No, um, let me interject. Sorry. And get, have, keep in mind, all, all pertinent conversations stopped when Super Chat happens because it's money. Yes. I don't make the rules. I don't like the rules, but we try to follow them. Two dollars for a deacon saying I'm Kent. So he contributed another two dollars. So that's four dollars towards the Scotch fund. Okay, so that's fine. Two dollars from uh, Steve Camasso. AC4, will you be here more often? Yeah. Okay. Blue shirt, but yeah, no, no, no. I'll, I'll make an arrangement with Dad. I'll get this PayPal started up and I'll get my own funding. <laughs> I might hijack dad's channel. By the way, uh, in case anyone asks, Dr. BBW gave you that idea, right? Of course. Good. Good. Okay. I'm, I think I can deal here. $2 by Blue Chip Buddha. AC4, thoughts on your dad's stiletto collection? I've seen his Louis Vuitton stilettos, but I haven't seen anyone else. Um, I'm going to have to ask him about that because I think he's one kept that one in the dark from me. Now, ten dollars by Thomas Burnett. I'm not paying ten pounds. Oh, ten pounds. I'm sorry. Ten pounds by. I don't have my bifocals on. Ten pounds by or my ring glasses. I'm not paying twenty five dollars. Here's ten dollars to pour yourself a scotch, JC Four. Cheers, buddy. No worries. Thank you very much. Like eighteen Australian. That's where I break off and I pour myself a drink. Thanks, thanks to Archie. I'm sure Archie didn't pay for this one. To one of the That's fans. Fun. So, yep. so thank you to whoever purchased it. Um, I'm gonna have a nice, a nice, nice drop of this scotch. Thank you, guys, Mister Two, Thomas Burnett. <laughs> Can you stare at your phone, ignore the punches, and randomly say yes? I see. I see. <laughs> and smell random objects. <laughs> no, no, do not pick up. Do no, no, don't pick up. 
Keep going. Stop it. Jeez. <laughs> a parent of the year, AC4. AC yes. Parent. Yes. All right. Uh, now, if you want to do the lizard tongue, that's extra. What's the lizard tongue? I see. I see. Yes. That's, that's where he uh, licks the licks the tip of the bottle after he pours himself a drink. Yeah. Like, well, except you know that's oh, except. Yeah. He, yeah, he does even grosser. Okay, good. <laughs> he better not get me sick. <laughs> wait. Maybe wait, wait. 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 Now check yourself for horns again, real quick. Okay, maybe that's where the horns come from. Bottle looking. All right, you're good. No horns, no horns. Ah. You know, actually. At what age do the horns come in? Do you guys know? No, we've only been on the channel for a few years. Mm. I'd say you say for about fifteen. Yeah. Well, that means I got to get in early then. Yeah. Uh, no. Get him cut off. Now, did your dad get you a Tiso? I think right. No, he got my older brother a Tiso. Tiso okay. What did he get you? When he, when we were younger, he got me a Rolex. But I wasn't into watches. I was into you know kicking the football around with my dad. That was never there. Okay. So I got a Rolex. He gave me a Rolex when I was about, I don't know, 10. Oh, I, I said, yeah. I don't want to watch. I want to ride a bike. So I sold dad the Rolex and bought a bike. Because yeah, he doesn't take a ride with a Rolex. Yeah, it's a little premature. And then now he's like, oh, you had your chance, blah, blah, blah. And I've gone, whatever. If you want to act in that way, that's fine. Yeah, get a ten-year-old. Yeah, get a ten-year-old bicycle, not a Rolex. That's right. How am I meant to know what what that is at that age? He wasn't there telling me from a young age that Rolex is great. Rolex is great. He just popped in and said, "Here, here's a watch." Okay, now, uh, two dollars for booster. Pray you don't contract gonorrhea from your father from looking that bottle. Oh. I'm going to have to get a check after this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. James Con 11, $5. Doesn't Archie... Dude, that's his dad. We can't ask that. I'm not sure. He probably does, to be honest. I'll, but alcohol, it kills everything. If it's good scotch. He's probably swapped it with Red Label, mind you. And he's just, he's just stirring you guys. It smells... He's done that to me before. <sighs> this is a wealth of information. Use it wisely. Use it wisely. <laughs> Where the hell? Where the hell is Mark Goldberg? Uh, wait a minute. Letting uh, dogs be dogs. Uh, guys, monitor the live stream comments. I'm going to hold on real quick, okay? Do, 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 do. Wait, um, all right. So, sorry, getting a few uh, communications here. All right. So, any other questions for? I, actually, the older your older brother's AC4. What what should we call you? Um, AC four point five. That's beautiful. AC four point five. All right. Oh, uh, so any other questions? Anything you want to tell? Any? Oh, well, wait. Yankee Doodle, Yankee Doodle, five dollars. Dude, your dad is very entertaining and a comic genius. He has a lot of really good qualities. He does. 
He does. Sometimes when I can't find the right advice from anyone and I just need it to be blunt, Archie will tell me straight up what needs to be done here, what I'm doing wrong. So he does have a lot of really good qualities um, with a number of things. I'll give him that. I will give him that. All right. So, guys, come on. Be, number one, you're doing free comments, and we don't read those. Because, after all, even on the Archie Electric channel, we have standards. And both are also kind of nasty for you guys. Come on. So, any other... It's kind of hard because every time you start getting in a conversation, there's a super cut that pops up. But, you know, that's probably the most important thing for him on this channel. Yeah. Wait, are any of your dad's protects on the table? Um, okay. This is not for your dad. This is for you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Victor. See, AC, AC 4.5, this is why you need to get a PayPal. Yeah, and then while you're while you're on camera, you just hold up the piece of paper with your PayPal on it. Okay. No, no, no. I'm I'm gonna, I'm I'm a bit of an accountant myself. Any money that is apparently is mine, I'm gonna get from Dad, whether he likes it or not. Just, so, just take it out of his wallet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but there's currently no Patex on the desk. There's no Patex anywhere near this. Now it's two dollars by Thomas Burnett. Do you address do you address him as Dad, Paul, or Archie? Ah, uh, both. Both. That's that's three choices there. I don't call him Paul. I, I I don't I don't like that. I'll say, Hey Dad. When I'm very angry at him, I'll go, Paul, come here. I need to speak to you. But usually Archie, Archie or Dad. <laughs> okay, okay. And <laughs> Barbus is over the counter. He's not. He's not. He's not contributing. He's in fine form. He said, "Starts." <laughs> Start <laughs> and don't stop. No, sorry, pharmacist. Uh, Archie didn't leave any Patex on the counter. Start winding the Patex and don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> You I know a little bit about watches. <laughs> then I see Billy Blastoff wants me to uh, take the blue label. But is that one of the bottles that he's swapped out for red label? We don't know. We're not there. You are. <laughs> Big bottle of blue label here. Now, Canadian Tokyo says, hey, if you ever come to Japan, let's catch up and have a drink. Yep, definitely. No worries. I'll be interested in that. No. That's going to take me oh, on no. his wait, 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 wait. Here, wait, here's something. Ice Hole is saying, just give your email address. You can claim the money when you set up with PayPal. Assuming, well, assuming no one else has the same PayPal address. Okay, no worries. Hang on. Um, Anthony. Dot Here's my, um, there might even be an account ready registered, but here you go. Five dollars, Yankee Doodle. Do you have yeah. appreciation for beautiful things like Dad? I do. Whether it's women, cars, um, bags, I do have an appreciation. I, I can, I take a lot of time. I know that it costs a lot of money. Um, uh, I enjoy it being around expensive things. Anthony, is there one A in Pluto or two? There's uh, there's two. So it's Anthony dot Pluto with two A's. Okay. That's for, that's for the PayPal account anyway. So guys, also there's there's uh, AC four point five PayPal a uh, future PayPal address. <laughs> Just like to say full pint glass with whiskey. And check the Patex for waterproof. Okay, guys. We'll also play. We're also going to play a little word game here in the comments. We're going to call it Bogan a Family Movie. Take a family movie. Okay. Uh, $30 for Alex Percival. Your dad's a legend. Good to meet you, AC 4.5. Thank you very much. 
There you go. That's a nice one. That is a nice comment. I nice contribution, like Alex. Thank you. That's really generous of you and to everybody else, too. Now, did people, when, when you were growing up, uh, did people ever realize that uh, Archie was your dad? No, because his YouTube thing didn't kick off until recently. Now, I'm 22. Every person who knows, who recognizes dad, it's never happened around me, but um, he has a lot of fans. Mostly the majority of his fans that I know, he introduced me to. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit one-sided. Nice. Do you ever go on any uh, international trips with him? No, not yet. I haven't had the um I haven't been lucky enough to go on any trips with him. I'd really enjoy going one day soon. Um where would you like I, to go with him? Of all, uh, out of all does he tell you about the international trips? Yeah, he does. He does. Which place do you think he likes the most? Just judging for your I company? think Singapore. I think he's a big he's a big um he, he loves Singapore. All right. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to let, okay. Uh, Sirocco or uh, Rich, I'll let you kind of take over the uh, interviewing. Guy for it, Rich. Take over the interviewing. Um, okay. Super chats, anything coming through? I'll start with that. So, um, so anyhow, so uh, so what do you do for fun? Did you guys talk um, about that already? I no no no. You have, you have, you have, you have any hobbies? If, if not watches, I, any hobbies or anything like that? I used to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, That's okay. We don't need to get into that. And basically, that that I've uh, this year I fixed everything else up. I'm no longer dealing with the courts. I'm not in any trouble anymore. All my probation and parole's finished. That's good. Yeah. That's um, good. And good now I'm just focused on work and earning money the right way instead of these other ways. Good for you. You know, uh, when you when you put time, when you put hours in, when you clock hours in, you don't have time to do foolish things. Yes, you know? that's correct. You work hard and you, uh, you'll be tired when you get home. And uh, you know what, if you're not going to, uh, if you're not doing an education in the spare time, you should have a second job in your spare time. That's right. That would, that would be my advice as a young guy to have two jobs. If you're, uh, uh, you need to be two, two, two things at once, always. Now, yeah. $2 Super Chat by Yankee Doodle. What are your goals in life? Um, well, I want the yacht. My, my family's all Ukrainian on my mother's side. So I would love to go over there and set up some business. Um, some business in Ukraine. I would like to be able to pay some Ukrainians some a good wage. You know, I, I want the yacht with the Patek and the nightclub. I want all that. No. But I would make some sacrifices and be very, very frugal. Yeah. Now, Thomas Burnett, two dollars. Have you ever been watch shopping with your dad? No, I have not. He has never taken me watch shopping. He's never he's never taken me watch shopping at all. Now, three dollars for Mister Two. By the way, some guy is impersonating my car. Long story. Okay, three dollars from Mr. Australian for Mister Two. Have you ever tried earning money on Blue Velvet? I don't know what blue velvet is. Neither don't do ask. we. Don't ask. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay, $2 by <laughs> <by AMG. laughs> You smart ass, Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt G, $2. Kylie or Kendall Jenner? Mm, Kendall. Okay. <laughs> and Mr. Two's following that up with long story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh. You know, like, well, I'm gonna. I, I'm keen to get Archie back in here because honestly, um, this is his show. He's walking around in rags. He. I think you're collecting more funds than he'd be collecting right now. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah, well, that's interesting. The show. The show would have been over. Uh, Two dollars an seven, hour ago. Two dollars and seventy nine cents for Charlie Hart Hartigan. Love to get onto yachts also. A lifelong dream. Now actually AC four point five, you know, Sirocco Cell sells is a yacht owner. He's a boat owner. I think he has two boats. Oh, okay. I have He's two on a boats. Yacht. Yes. If anyone wants to buy one, talk to me. So okay, we'll do. One day I gotta save a little money, but I'm keen. I really, really enjoy yachts. I wanna sit there at the end of the day and be like, that's my yacht. Yep. Cool way to be. Now, now you have to realize Sirocco uh, is a little different because he actually bought the yacht before he bought the Yacht Master. For most of us, it's usually the other way around. I see. The Rolex. Yeah. Yes. That's a good point. Yeah. He kind of went into it arse, back, arse backwards. I like that. I think that's very cool. Well, when you think about it, sure. no, I, I think we are the ones going into it backwards. <laughs> You're supposed to get the yacht first. You got a decent yeah. enough boat, there, mate. <laughs> I'm in a landlocked state, dude. <laughs> no, yes. I know Rich, Rich has got a boat. And so, he's got a okay, two dollars from Majestic Twelve. It, it, Does Dad have to move out of the house next year? Ooh, good question. Um, I stay out of his personal affairs when it comes to his little tiny cracked out office. Um, <laughs> to be real, um, if I was for Army, I'd be moving him out this year, but I honestly can't tell you an actual answer. Okay, two dollars and eighty cents from Australian from Charlie Hartigan. Yeah, I sell my house when I retire and do this. Okay, that's not a question. That's a statement. Thanks, Charlie. No, that's it's accurate. All right. All right. So, guys, um, do we uh, do, do we want to buy AC four point five another drink while he's here? Do we want to? Do we want him to drink his dad's scotch? Did you finish that other one? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well done. Of course. <laughs> You don't have to go anywhere tonight, right? No. Okay, two dollars by Tom. Oh, sorry, two pounds by Thomas Burnett. What is your favorite watch? Um, I am a good mind you. I love the eighteen karat gold Submariner with the blue dial that Dad had. I was a sucker for that. It looks. Uh, I actually really liked it. But then again, he's been going on about Patek for so long now. Now, does that I, mean, I don't know where to start with Pateks. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, Terry N, $2, AC 4.5. What do you want for Christmas? Besides, I just want to be around my family. So, oh, that's really nice. It's a nice answer. That's right. That's it's my stepfather's birthday on Christmas as well. Um, to and he, he he's done a lot to me, like he's done a lot for me as well. So I just want to be around my family and spend time with them. I I'm not really keen on getting presents and stuff as we get older. It's all bullshit anyway. So uh, okay. a, a tutor would be a great first watch for him. Now majestic twelve. Uh, yes, have, definitely. Are you left-handed or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. Two dollars by Majestic Twelve. What's the maddest you've ever seen your dad? Um, I think it was when I was in school and teachers were picking on me. Like when teachers were actually doing the wrong thing, making me feel like shit going to school. It was hard because I only had mum there. Mum was working full time. But if dad ever suspected anything, like someone was taking advantage of me or making me feel be like a piece of shit. That's when I would see Dad unleash. He can get very, very, very angry. Did he, um, did he ever confront any any of the teachers or administrators at your school in person? Definitely, okay. definitely. What, what in person or not at all? 
always in person. What watch did he wear when he was doing it? <laughs> That's funny that you asked. It's probably a two tone, two tone sub baby, or maybe. Yeah, it I would say a two tone. It, it wouldn't have been a Patek because he wants them to know that he's wearing a special watch. They wouldn't recognize a Patek, so it would have been a, a bluesy or it a solid been a gold very spot, iconic piece, right? Yeah. Yes, a loud piece. Yes. If it was a corporate structure, he would be wearing the Patek. I don't know. I, mean, I agree. Well, I don't know if they'd even recognize Patek in a corporate structure with most people there. The, yeah. it, Patek is very hard to spot. It almost looks like a cheap watch, as much as that's an insult. No. They're very simply, they're very simple. The design on the face, you wouldn't realize you had a Patek until it was too late. Now, two dollars and eighty cents by Charlie Hardigan. I've been, I've also been there, bud. Let's have a drink, or let's have a shot. Yeah. Okay, pour yourself a little shot. Also, two dollars by Kermit the Frog. Ask your dad to get you a squally for Christmas. I will. Squally. Squally. Make sure it's a lion. There's a special kind. It's called a lion shark. I'm sorry, a lion shark. And ask him to get you that one. A lion shark. Okay. I'll definitely inform him that that's the way to go. Um, now, where? Bear with me one second, guys. Not a problem. It's all good, it'll pop up. Um, now it's Kermit the Frog and also, sorry, Charlie. Cheers. It's a decent shot. Cheers. <laughs> I'm not having a shot with you, but. It's all that matters. It's all good. It's the thought that counts. Thank you, Charlie. I'd have a beer, but I've got to drive somewhere. Yeah. No, you don't have to drive anywhere right now, right? Uh, not right now, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck. 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 Okay, we may not have thought this one through all the way. No, nah, it's all right, boys. I do what I do. <laughs> so you can just say, Jesus, Lord, is a huge shot. Yeah, a shot. A shot is like a shot glass, like a little tiny about, like you know. A shot is thirty mils, isn't it? You're spot on. Yeah, yeah. Just good. Thir thirteen, not thirty. Yes. Yeah. Or, is it 13, or is it thirteen going on thirty? You know, <laughs> it's thirty. It's thirty. Thirty liters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three dollars, Ace Mister Two. Is there a small piece of fabric there? No, 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 no. Oh, that's no. so wrong. <laughs> no, don't. What's he done with this fabric? No, no. Let me put it this way. Please put to me. Please, I, 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 I swear to you upon. Uh, I, I, I got another way to put it. Mother. Does it smell like a fish market where you're sitting <laughs> right now? <laughs> God, that is so bad. No. If you know, so at, times, at times I've walked in here and it smelt like a fish market. Yes. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I don't know who you are, but you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Nick is he sniffs. <laughs> what a crab! What an absolute crab! Your your dad likes to bring unusual content to us I can tell well wow. you learn a new thing about your dad every day but this is one thing that you didn't think you would expect to hear when you woke up this morning what's seen cannot be unseen that's right 
<laughs> it's okay. My, my, my kids are two years old when in, in 30, 40 years, they're going to wonder what I was doing on your dad's show. <laughs> yes. You'll archive this, Rich, just for them. <laughs> Won't that be a kick for them, though, to see that when they're 40 <laughs> years old, 40 years from now? Yeah, j just to show your grandkids. Pharmacist over the counter, though, somewhere already, somewhere, that question has already been super chatted. Some oh. of these questions, they don't pay me to do any of this. So, no, um, exactly, yeah. Now, if you want to adhere to your dad's standards, you don't do shit unless you're paid. And that's half, right. And half the time, you don't do shit after you've been paid. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Okay, Terry Ann. AC 4.5, please fill in the blank. Patek and blank. Patek and pussy. Okay. Uh, three three dollars Australian by Mister Two. What do the high heels smell like in the wardrobe? <laughs> oh shit! You swear to God, you're over twenty one, right? Yeah, I'm over twenty one, mate. You're all good. Um, I don't know where they are because he's got a little cube that he calls his office, and there's shit everywhere. <laughs> two dollars by Thomas Burnett. Clivers, AC5. It's great getting to know you. Oh, oh Thank sorry. You, Cheers, AC. Uh, it's AC4.5. That's fine. Thank you, Thomas. Bedroom wardrobe. I don't know. I don't go into his bedroom. No, I saw a set <laughs> in. probably don't want to. I, I would advise against that. No, pretty much so. Yes, you, need, you need to wear, wear a hazmat suit before you attempt those kind of things. Yes. Yes. So, anything else you guys want to ask AC 4.5 about AC3's living situation? Ice hole. They're in the bedroom. <laughs> Thank you, Ice hole. I don't know who you are, but you sound like you know how to party. <laughs> how long have you seen the sheets as curtains? Those sheets? Those sheets. Them ones? No, uh, like, does, does your dad have sheets as, bed sheets as curtains in his home? Yeah, he does. Does that make you, okay. He does. He's very lazy. He doesn't like spending a little bit of money for a good solution. He'd rather just fuck around and do dumb shit. Yeah, I, I totally see Rich, that. you're back. Um, well, I've been here. I've been but with the camera off. Hey, I'm going to have to take off, guys, but it was fun. It was nice to meet you for sure. Yeah. You too. Cool. Yeah, we'll see yeah. you around. No, no, see you later, in the chat room. So no. long, everybody, guys. Bye, Sirocco. So long, Cloud. AC 4.5, is there a button that says in stream or something like that on the screen? Okay, yes. Um, well, if you want to go ahead and end the, end the live stream, you can just tell us. You can just end it however you want to do is it. Is it Leave Studio? Yeah, probably. Don't know. Yeah, Leave Studio. I got to go as well. Yeah, that's fine. All good. Hello. Pleasure meeting you, boys. Good luck. You too, buddy. Have a great day. See you later. Enjoy your dad's scotch. <laughs> I will. Thank you very much. Okay. See you, Clive. See you, Sirocco. See you, Rich, buddy. Okay. Cheers. And it's still on. Holy sh... Okay.